What? Not lash lifting. Hopefully not. Is it just me or does it look like fossilized poop a little bit? It look like a chip of My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe. <clears throat> my name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. Okay, so today is going to be another haul, but it's not from Home Goods this time. It's from H&M Home. And actually, this is one of my favorite places to shop because it's such great quality but at an affordable price and I really feel like you shouldn't have to break the bank for every single piece in your house like sure the couch can be expensive the bed can be expensive but like the little accents I shouldn't have to pay five thousand dollars for every single piece you know so H&M home really does kind of satisfy my appetite for stuff like that when I want to find something interesting and still stay within a budget now now Get the thing out. Just a little disclaimer. If you see something on the site, buy it. Even if you're not really that sure about it, you can always return it. Their stuff sells out like hotcakes. Like, <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I have been eyeing something and I finally decide to buy it and it's like gone. Boom! But with that being said, they do have a notification that you can set up for when it comes back in stock, which I feel like every merchandise, every, what am I trying to say? Every retailer should have a uh, notify me when it's back in stock. That was a lot of quotes. <laughs> but I feel like they should have that, especially if they know it's going to be coming back. And I really appreciate that about H&M Home. This is not sponsored. Like I told you guys, I just really love what I love. And I bring you guys what I love. So let's talk about what I love. Let's get into the haul. So if you have been here for a while, you guys know I live for anything sculptural. Like... That's just my thing. So when I saw this next piece, I grabbed it up and purchased it so quick because I knew it was going to sell out. So it's this little sculpture and I just love it. I saw it and instantly fell in love. It is giving a little bit poop though, right? Is it just me or does it look like fossilized poop a little bit? Am I tripping? It looked like a chip of shit. Oh well, it's still really good. I love it. I love how it's like solid. It's not hollow. Um, yeah, it it feels really solid. Like it was molded out of like clay or something, and then they let it harden and then paint over it. It just is really, really good. And I really love pieces like this to put in spaces where you don't want to do too much. So I'm working on some floating shelves in my little office nook and I needed some small pieces that wouldn't overwhelm the space and I feel like this is going to fit very, very well. H&M Homes ceramics are always really great quality and at a really, really great price. Like they are killing the game when it comes to that. And like I said, this is just really, really good. I love that it's on a stand so it gives it some elevation, you know, just kind of it's like, hey, look at me, look at me. And I truly believe adding abstract pieces to my space really makes it feel gallery-like. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but there's this, I don't, do you call it a place? Do you, I don't know what you call it. So it's called the Apparatus. They have one in LA, they have one in New York. I don't know where else there's an apparatus, but I really want to go there because it's just so aesthetically pleasing and they just have these abstracts and out of the box and off the wall pieces everywhere and it's really, it's just soothing to me for some reason. I don't know. So this piece gives me a piece of that piece and yeah, that's the piece. Bars. Bars. Okay, so next up is something that I mentioned in my last video, which was my updated bedroom tour. If you missed it, where was your antennas? Don't worry. 
because it's always available. I will link it down below for you. But I talked about this blanket that I have here on my bed and it's actually in various other places in my home just because I feel like it's such great quality and at such an amazing price. Like $17.99. You can't beat that for the size. So like I said, I have this on the corner of my bed just because I wanted it in here somewhere, but I really love the way it looks over a couch, over a bench, in a basket, you know, just pretty much anywhere you want some kind of softness or some kind of texture you want to add to the space. And I grab this every time I go on H&M home site and I see that it's in stock, I grab one. Like I literally have five of these in my home because like I said, in my last video, you can use this for crafts as well. I told you guys about a lampshade that I got from Home Goods a while back. Well, it wasn't that long ago, but a little while back, it's this long cylindrical, is that the word? Cylindrical? Cylinder. Yeah, I think that's right, cylindrical. Don't quote me. But I got this huge lampshade and it's white and I love the shape, but I think I'm going to take one of my blankets and kind of um, put the, fabric put the blanket around it because I also told you guys about this lamp that I had been obsessing over for a very long time that I saw on Instagram that I thought was just chef's kiss the epitome of what my decor style is and I was gonna bite the bullet and buy that but I found that lampshade and I was like hmm, I might be able to finesse this so I'm going to try to um, put this around the lampshade it should still give off some light because this is kind of sheer can you tell? Can you? Mm, you can't really tell, but this isn't like opaque, opaque. Like you can still kind of see through it. Like even right now, I can see the light that I have up um, on me through this. So hopefully that will turn out great. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I have really great hopes for that. And like I said, I just love this blanket. Grab it every time I see it. These sell out really quick too. But like I said, hit that, notify me when it's back in stock. You'll get an email. When you get that email, go get it. Like, don't wait. Don't be like, oh, I'll get to it later because it's gonna be gone. I'm telling you, they sell out like crazy. So yeah, that's that. My eyelash lifting. Hopefully not. Okay, so next up I have a candle holder and I was so excited to get this because it was the last one at the time. Um, I haven't checked to see if it's back in stock, but I will link it down below for you guys so you can, I'm gonna keep saying this, just hit the button that says get notified, I'm telling you, it, they usually come back. But I got this in the mail and I opened it and I was really excited because one, it's great quality. Like I'm pretty sure this is made of iron, um, so it's very sturdy. I guess the employees thought this was sturdy enough to not put in a box. You know, normally when I order from H&M Home and it's home decor, they usually give me a box, it's like, you know, zip tied, really nice. But they just kind of wrapped this in tissue paper and put it in a plastic bag and mailed it to me. I wasn't too concerned because it didn't sound like anything was broken when I picked up the package, but I opened it and... Do you see that? It's chipped. Look at, you've been chewing on this shit before you came in? Honestly, it's not the biggest deal. I can probably put some paint on that and get over it, but it just is kind of annoying because y'all were really kind of negligent in sending my package. But off that, I love this piece. I love that it's like in three. So, you know, the rule of three, I talk about it all the time. Very big in the design world and I love three-legged things. So the fact that I can sit this on my table and have that concept is amazing to me. Um, it has these little grippers on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up your table or your countertops, wherever you put it. You can put taper candles in this or even like little tea light candles. That would be cute too. I didn't even realize that it, okay. So like it has a deeper hole down in the bottom. That's what she said. <laughs> For like a smaller, a more narrow candle. And then the hole above that is a little bit wider. So you can put a tea light candle in there. Huh, I didn't even think of that. But you can put candles in this, have yourself like a little candle lit meal, maybe a little candle lit lunch. A candle lit lunch, I'm dazzled. Even dinner 
or you can just leave it how it is and just have it as a sculptural piece. Um, I love that I can sit it this way or this way and it'll still give like something extra to my space. And honestly, you guys know those sconces that are like round and they have the little circular lights on the inside. I wonder if they sell like mini puck lights that I can stick inside here and make like a sconce and put it on the wall. That might be neat. I'm gonna look into that. Yeah, I'm definitely, I gotta see if I can find some more because this would be so cute on the wall. I don't know about you guys, but I love when people use unconventional things on a wall to like bring some drama and something just different to look at. I'll put some examples up on the screen of what I'm talking about. I just really think that is just so dope. And yeah, this piece is very versatile. I'm actually so glad I got it. And like I said, I'll link it for you down below. Okay, while we're on the subject of candles, I love a good one, especially one that's aesthetically pleasing on top of smelling good, like, throw it in a bag. So, I've never tried H&M Holmes candles, like, ever, but I saw this one and I immediately was like, I need to get that because it looks so good. It's like very minimal, very sleek. It's giving very Le Labo candle. Like if you've seen like the Santal and all the other scents candle, they just come in this regular glass jar with a really minimal clean label. And that's what this is giving. This does have a little bit of a, can you see this? I'll put up a close up on the side of the screen so you can see the pattern that it actually has on the glass, which I thought was really, really cute. They actually had a vase to go with it, but I thought that was a little bit too much. So I just stuck with the candle. And like I said, I love a candle that looks good and smells good. Very important. So this is clean cotton. It says premium batch and aroma 3%. What does that mean? You only get 3% aroma? Or is that the strength? Is that the... I don't know. It, it, I don't know what the 3% means. It says the smell of freshly laundered fabric emitting notes of citrus. So right up my alley, my two favorite clean scents are eucalyptus mint, top all day, every day, give me a eucalyptus mint candle. And then I love anything that smells like linens, like clean laundry, like there's laundry in the laundry room that needs to be folded. So I had to grab this. Hopefully it smells good. I did. Think it was going to be bigger than this for the price i'm a little bit cheap but honestly it wasn't that bad of a price compared to like other brands so <sighs> yeah that's that one and like i said it's very aesthetically pleasing even after this burns down you can still use the container so I don't know if anybody else knows this or if it's a hack, but just one day I was looking at all the candle containers that I have that I never want to get rid of. And I was like, I can actually just put a regular like killer candle in here and still use it. They won't smell the same, but I can still get the aesthetic. You know what I mean? So that's what I plan to do. And I can also use this as just a container if I want to put like cotton balls, there's something on my lip. Hold on. Hold please. Okay, so like I was saying, when this burns all the way down, I can still use a container. I can put like cotton balls or Q-tips in here and still get the look. So, love this. Okay, and last but not least, of course, I bought a vase. That's just who I am. That's my MO. And you guys know that arches have been really big lately, especially here in my home. I have a few um, of this one particular piece from Target. I have two of them because I just love them so much. This is Marble Arch. Love it so much. I wanted the CB2 Black Marble Arch for a really long time, but it was too expensive. I waited for it to go on sale and then it went on sale and then I couldn't get it. So, boom! Anyways, <laughs> off that, I thought this would be perfect to add to my collection. I love it. It's very good quality. I love the muted tone and it's a substantial size. You can put florals or branches in here or you can even leave it whatever good. Or <laughs> you can leave it just by itself as it is on a shelf or on a um, bookcase, in a bookcase or a countertop. So I just love this piece and yeah, it just brings it. It's just a chip too. H&M Hall, get it together. This is chip too, but it's okay. It's two sides. 
to it it's fine but like I was saying this is great to add a different shape to a space especially if you have something very minimal and you just want to add a little bit of a pop something where it'll be like oh that's cool where'd you get that from you know what I mean so I just love this I really see this in my kitchen somewhere maybe by the sink um, I haven't really decided but I just know I had to have it and yeah love it so glad I got it can't wait to style it Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. Like I said, I will link these items down below. If they are sold out, don't fret. Just like I've been saying this whole video, hit the notify me when it's back in stock and look out for your email to come and let you know that it's back in stock. Yeah. <laughs> While you're here, check out another video. I will link one at the end of this one for your convenience. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace out.